today's video is about this General Tools Precision Cordless Screwdriver and I'll go over some of the specs. It does about 100 RPMs, it has two AAA batteries and it's said to last eight hours on two AAAs. Uh, at first I pulled it out and threw the batteries in it and was not very impressed at all with the speed. Uh, the speed of it initially was very slow, not much faster than you could turn a screwdriver by hand. Um, that was one of the uh, intended to mod it anyway because there isn't a whole lot of options for uh, small electric screwdrivers like this. I figured it would be a good start, a good base, having all the uh, gear reduction and whatnot in here. Uh, but on my probably second or third use, I was pulling a screw out of the back of a computer case and it actually stripped the gears out on the inside. So I guess I'll get to modding it quicker than I thought. Um, in the next video, I'll show you how to take it apart and, and mod this gear. So it's just these two screws on the side, and then I imagine this end cap is uh, probably glued on or press fitted on, and we'll just see what we can do when we get to that point. We'll take the batteries out first. On the inside, you have a very small electric motor, and you have a set of very, very small gears. So, not the probably not the best design for an application like this, but they are actually all metal gears, and we'll see what the actual problem is here. Um, I would probably go with a planetary gear style. It always seems to be the best solution when it comes to... Um, tools like this. Upper gear, that's the problem here. You can see this flat spot on one of the teeth right, right there on this upper gear. That shiny spot, that's where it's stripped out. So I'm actually not sure if I can do any modifications to this right now without having a different gear filing that piece. Alright, so what I decided to do, since I wouldn't be out anything if I did this anyway, as, well, see here you can see this, uh, see the flat spot a little bit easier, the shiny spot on this gear. It's pretty much screwed. So, inst instead of using this gear at all, I'm just going to take a little JB Weld and uh, clean off this gear. This gear would normally pivot below below the bottom like so with this gear setup it would normally spin. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to bridge the two together by cleaning these up really good and uh, putting some JB Weld between it and then just eliminating the gear between here and there. Um, <clears throat> that way I'll get a little bit more speed out of it and yeah, I'll lose some torque, but maybe I'll make that up with some uh, a little bit higher power source. It's a 5 volt motor and there's about 3 volts put to it already. So I uh, might get it back. I might even bump it up a little bit. So getting this piece apart, you have to basically um, pry it because these top pieces are press fitted into this plate. So what you have to do is kind of, I'm working with minimal tools here. So I just took a pliers on the bottom and a pliers on the top and just kind of wheeled them back and forth until uh, it came loose. Um, so I'm going to get to cleaning this up. I'm pretty limited. Normally I'm in my shop where I have 3M brake cleaner and all the good stuff. But I'm going to use some rubbing alcohol and a toothbrush and go ahead and uh, clean up these gears. And then I will go on to uh, jiggle welding it. I also found that you can buy this unit pretty much uh, on eBay for about $10, the whole motor and gear reduction assembly. I was also looking at some other uh, planetary gear types, much uh, better package, all the, you know, the grease is all self-contained. I imagine over time that 
the uh, this would get dirt and dust in it and fail rather quickly. So we'll get to cleaning that and uh, and I'll see you back when we JB weld it. All right, <clears throat> now that we got all that cleaned off, I'm just what I'm gonna do to keep that side from getting caught up in the JB weld. I'm just gonna oh, I'm just gonna go ahead and glob it on this side. Look at that. Not bad. <laughs> Alright, so we'll just let that set and then hopefully by tomorrow it w we'll try it out and it'll work just fine. If not, we're back where we started anyway. Alright, well, today this is the day that we reassemble this, and you can see it turned out pretty dang good as far as JB welding something goes. So, nice even uh, layer of JB weld all the way around it. And we'll start assembling this guy. So, here's that main piece. And so, instead of putting this gear that would normally connect to the top, so this, these teeth here would connect to this top gear normally so we'll just leave that one out because it's not necessary for this and we'll just we'll lose a little gear reduction but we'll pick up some speed and hopefully gain that power back so put this here and then this plate goes on like this And I think I'll just hook this up to a power supply right now because um, I'd like to wear it in, <clears throat> have the gears kind of meet up. And if there's any little little bits of JB Weld in there, it'll kind of wear it away. So I'll hook it up to my power supply. And that's one volt. So yeah, you can see that it's working there. And then this piece, the actual... Um, the piece that goes on it just press fits on there. Alright, now we're going to finish assembling this and give it a shot, see how it works. So we're going to go ahead and press fit this guy back on here. All right, so I got it all back together, and uh, it spins considerably faster. Uh, it's still pretty pretty torquey, but I only really wanted this thing for light uh, electronics repair, so it actually does the job pretty well. And here I have a Samsung tablet that I've been doing I was doing some repairs on, um, and you can see here that it actually works pretty darn well. Alright. 
Yeah, much faster than a much faster than just a hand screwdriver. Um, so there you have it.